What's up, YouTube fam? This is Kenny Ken's Corner, and I'm back with another video. And today, we have a sensitive topic that we're talking about. We're talking about the Atlanta girl that was raped on Facebook Live. Oh, shit. This is very sensitive, y'all. Wow. So, this topic has been going crazy. I think the girl's name is Elaine or something like that. Um, so, supposedly, she was in, um, she was about eight hours away from Atlanta and she and a couple of her homegirls went down to Atlanta uh, for Martin Luther King weekend and they wanted to party um, and you know, and live it up, live their best life. And somehow she ended up meeting a dude at the club and dude took advantage of her and raped her in the motherfucking club. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys the video. It's very, well, it's not that graphic. Um, it, it shows the girl being held by the dude and her begging for help. And then what is most disturbing is the conversation at the end of the video where her and the guy are exchanging words and she's basically, you know, telling him she ain't feeling it. Um, check out the video and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Baby, no, baby. No, 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 no
Residents of the corner. Did y'all see that shit? Did y'all see that fuck shit? Man, what's wrong? What happened to the girl code? Where was her friend at? That shit is crazy. Um, you see a lot of girls, they 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 get ready together, they take pictures together, and then once they get to the club, it's every woman for themselves, and they just end up doing some stupid ranchy shit. I've been to the club with big old groups of people, with guys and girls, and we come together, and then everybody is just off on their own, and that's because everybody been moving the club uh, all the same way. Some people are wallflowers, some people, they get out in the club and they go crazy. So it's really like, you know, um, it's really a conscious decision that you guys have to make when you're going out with people to say that, hey, we go in together, we're going to party together, and we're going to leave together. And a lot of times, you know, that happens. And sometimes, and you know, as we've seen in this unfortunate uh, situation, that that doesn't happen all the time, that some people are left alone. And when people are left alone in, in a place where there's a lot of alcohol and drugs going on, um, what can happen is 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 very infinite a lot of things can can happen and that's one of the unfortunate things that happened that this young girl um it's, she's not even a young girl she's a woman this woman's um um her womanhood was, was was stripped away from her she didn't have the chance to say yay or nay i want this person um to be all up on me like that and <clears throat> i don't care if you're a woman a man um black blue purple it's always your decision um whether or not you want to give your genitals to the to to the next person, and so um, I think you know she was violated, and I think you know it says a lot on on his end as well. It's just like, come on, bro, what happened to you know playing it cool and and letting it come to you, letting the girls come to you, and it's just like you know where where was his friends at to be like, come on, bro, that's not how we move. We don't move like that. You know, we some players. You know, we go let the females come to us, and I think that's putting. Um, guys in a bad light too because you know all of us aren't like that we don't have to go out and forcibly um, get the girls and stuff like that or whoever it is that we're chasing after so <clears throat> I think you know there's a lot of uh, opportunity on both ends on the guys ends and on, the, and on the girls ends where we need to tighten that shit up um, because we can't keep happen, keep letting stuff like this happen um, in our community especially the black community um, the club is, is definitely a part of the black community and black expression. So we got to make sure that even though we smoking weed and we um, drinking and stuff like that, these that these places are, are safe places for our people because we should be able to go to a club in, in, in whatever city, whether it be in Atlanta, New York, LA, San Francisco, where I'm at, that we, we, we can be safe and sound. And we got to make sure that our establishments no matter where we go, are safe and sound for our people, that they're safe havens. And so, and it's really sad and it's unfortunate that, um, you know, that Elaine or whatever her name is, the Atlanta girl raped on camera, that's her name right now, um, had to experience that. And so, um, what do you guys think? You know, um, do you think it was justified? Do you think, you know, it's a, it's a plot and a ploy? Because um, as I'm making this video, I did just see a video that there's things that's out <clears throat> that there are developing um that this may be a, a ploy um you know for media attention and, and if this is if this is one of those ploys for media attention y'all are going to fucking hell if y'all planned a fake ass rape to go viral on social media so um make sure you guys comment before you leave what do you guys think about this video or what do you guys um think about the entire situation um, weigh in, tell me what you guys are thinking and make sure before you uh, leave, you like the video, you share the video and you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace.